club in two steps, okay? So I've just hit my tee shot, just missed the fairway to the right here by about two yards, okay? So, how to shallow your downswing in two steps? This is what happens during the transition from backswing to the till I hit the golf ball that can influence the way the club shallows out in relation to the body, okay? So, first thing we'll talk about is the takeaway. So, the takeaway is the first part of the golf swing. That if this goes off track at times, then we can be running the risk of going out and into trouble, okay? So, the first thing that I always see when people are in the takeaway is they try and hit the ball too hard, okay? So, the first reaction is to take the club too far on the inside. So when they take the club too far on the inside, what that does to the butt end of the club, so if I take the club too far on the inside, tied from there, the butt end of the club points somewhere in front of them, okay? So from there, in order for me to get the butt end of the club back, so they say the main goal is to try and get the butt end to keep that close to your body, okay? If the butt end's further away from my body, what the first reaction is to try and get the shaft steep to try and get the club back close to your body, okay? So if I was to swing from the inside, and take the club on that natural out, then the ball's going to go 40 yards right. Okay, so what we need to try and get the habit of doing is stop taking the club more back to horizontally on the way back. What we want to do is we want to almost do the opposite to that. If the more vertical, this, this is on my consensus, this is accurate, okay? So the more vertical that you take the club, the easier it is to shallow the golf or the club on the way down more horizontally, okay? So if I take the club back, then my first reaction is drag the handle so if I drag the handle the club's too far behind my body and if I drag the handle what does that to the club shaft it steepens it okay so the more I go around the more I have to come back to actually hit the golf ball okay so the first movement you want to do or the first movement that I advocate you should do is set the club nice and early okay so David Ledbetter the ace one he talks about getting this butt end of the club pointing towards the ball to target line and the toe so halfway in between that okay so get the club really vertical when you get the club really vertical, it gives the club enough time to actually shallow out. Okay, so more vertical on the way back. If we get more vertical, then what happens is it gives the club enough time for the butt end of the club to come back into this position. If we get in back into this position, then we've got enough time to actually hit the golf ball. Okay, so really set the, the club early. If we set the club early, then what happens is gravity. So if we set the club early, pay attention to my lead, my lead wrist, okay? If I set the club early, the butt end's pointing straight down to my foot, okay? If I take the club back, the butt end goes back the way, okay? Meaning I can shallow the club. So my club head is almost lower than my hand path, right? So, if I come steep, club head's actually higher on the hand path. From there, I'm going to get the club close to my body, the, the radius of the swing that's going to reduce, okay? So set the club nice and early. From there, we can allow the club to move behind us, okay? So the butt end, golf's a game of equal but opposite reactions. The more we take it into the side, the more we have to come steep to actually square the club balls. Okay, so it's more vertical to start off with, and from there it's just a mirror opposite. The more vertical we go, then the more we can shallow. Okay, so the more we set it early, then the more the clubs got, the more time the clubs got a chance to actually shallow out. Okay, back steep, then we're able to shallow out. Okay, so pay attention to the butt end of the club. Okay, if I take it on the inside from there, butt end of the club's point away. How do I get the club? back close to my body I have to come steep I drag the handle I drag the handle across the path and that's where I'm going to get the club going to steep in the downswing so let's do the opposite to what we think let's set the club early if we set the club early butt end of the club is pointing directly in relation to my right foot if I take the club back this allows the club to work more behind my body create a bit of depth and allow me to square the club face up a little bit easier and it gives me more time to swing around my body or widens the swing up okay so the second thing what we're going to talk about is when people get to the top of the backswing and then from there they have something called internal rotation, okay? So if you're throwing anything, if you play any sort of sports, so if you, like, let's play tennis, basketball, or you're throwing the ball under arm, we have something called internal rotation, okay? So almost something, internal rotation is basically when, when our shoulder comes closer to our body, okay? So if we take the club back, inter internal rotation, with internal rotation, our, our right arm is going to stay flexed for longer, okay? But then what happens here is it allows us to straighten out on the way back, and if we straighten out, that creates a bit of leverage, okay? So think about the arm going from bent to straight on the way down, okay? If we do that, so too many golf balls. So internal rotation is basically that movement where the palm faces down the way, okay? External rotation is almost that movement, okay? When the arm is moving away from the body, internal is when you've got a, an angle decreases towards the body, 
external is when it goes out towards the pit. If I was, I would almost keep the, the grooves close to the ground or the cloth case close to the ground on the way back. And I would set the club early and from there the arms can move away from the body, okay? So I don't want to go external first, then drop the club back, then internal, because the swing arm narrows, okay? So let's go internal, so the grooves are pointing, the hands pointing down towards the ground. Then we can take the club back, then we can externally rotate on the way back, okay? Influences the way that, that we shallow the golf club, okay? So if this right shoulder internally rotates on the way back, then externally rotates, that trail shoulder moves behind you, okay? So but if I went external rotation to start off with, then internal, ro ro internal rotation, then the shoulder's coming close to the body, and then from there I can't actually re release the club properly. So, think about the trail shoulder, the trail, sho trail shoulder creates the width in the golf swing, okay, the left arm as well, okay, so I have to take the club back, set it nice and early, more vertical, from there, then shaft goes more vertical, and feel like the right shoulder straightens out early at the top of the back swing, okay, we can't, if, if we get our hands ahead of the golf ball, but we feel like our right arm straightening, we're not going to cast, okay, so more vertical on the way back, and from there, internal rotation, so feel like, you can do this in two movements. Internal rotation is when the grooves are pointing to the ground and our hand is close to our body, our palms facing towards the ground, okay? So take the club back from there. I can create width by internally externally rotating. So, so from there, I feel like I'm losing the angles away from there by straightening the right arm. If I do that, then I'm going to create a lot of width from the swing. Let's hit a couple of shots of discussing the two concepts, okay? So right shoulder, right shoulder width and the takeaway. Set the club early. Then we can externally rotate because the, the right shoulder is more width than behind us, okay? The arms are more behind us, we can rotate. It gives enough time to turn and lower the arms as we come through, okay? So, set the club early. We're not taking it inside, we're setting it early. Butt end has to point more down to the ground, the club's more vertical. So the more we take it back vertical, the more chance you've got to show it shall in the club a lot easier, okay? Because the golf swing's two opposite movements, right? So. Set it early, internal rotation, keep the, the shoulder nice and close. But so feel like we've got a flying right elbow, so feel like we're straightening the arm and feel like we've got a, a flying right elbow. Okay, let's see these couple of shots by trying that movement. Set it early. That was quite high. It bounced eventually, it was a long time in the air. Let's try it again, set it early, external rotation on the way back, okay? A little bit heavy, but if you've got any thoughts on that video, okay, so more vertical and takeaway, more, more time to shallow the golf ball, okay? And then internal rotation, keep the right elbow, think about keeping the right elbow close to your body on the way back, but from there we're letting go of the right elbow by straightening the the right arm or the trail arm, and then rotate some more width, then we can get the club working from more behind us and more around, okay? So if you've got any thoughts on that video, comment below and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Influences the way that, that we shallow the golf club, okay? So if this right shoulder internally rotates on the way back, then externally rotates, that trail shoulder moves behind you, okay? So but if I went external rotation to start off with, then internal rotation, internal rotation then the shoulders come close to the body and then from there I can't actually re release the club properly. So think about the trail shoulder, the trail, sho trail shoulder creates the width in the golf swing, okay, the left arm as well, okay, so I have to take the club back, set it nice and early, more vertical, from there then shaft goes more vertical and feel like the right shoulder straightens out early at the top of the back swing, okay, we can't, if, if we get our hands ahead of the golf ball, but we feel like our right arm straightening, we're not going to cast, okay, so more vertical on the way back, and from there, internal rotation, so feel like you can do this in two movements, internal rotation is when the grooves are pointing to the ground, and our hand is close to our body, our palms facing towards the ground, okay, so take the club back, from there, I can create width by internally ro externally rotating, so, so from there, I feel like I'm losing the angles away from there by straightening the right arm, if I do that, then I'm going to create a lot of width from the swing, let's hit a couple of shots of discussing the two concepts, okay? So, right shoulder, right shoulder width, and the takeaway. Set the club early, 
then we can externally rotate because the, the right shoulder is more width than behind us, okay, the arms are more behind us, we can rotate, it gives enough time to turn and lower the arms as we come through, okay. So, set the club early, we're not taking it inside, we're setting it early, but end has to point more down, down the club's more vertical, so the more we take it back vertical, the more chance you've got to show it shell in the club a lot easier, okay, because the goal swing's two opposite movements, right, so set it early, internal rotation, keep the, the shoulder nice and close, but so feel like we've got a flying right elbow, so feel like we're straightening the arm and feel like we've got a flying right elbow. Okay, let's see these couple of shots by trying that movement. Set it early. That went quite high. It bounced eventually, it was a long time in the air. Let's try it again, set it early. External rotation on the way back, okay? A little bit heavy, but if you've got any thoughts on that video, okay, so more vertical and take away, more, more time to shallow the golf ball, okay? And then internal rotation, keep the right elbow, think about keeping the right elbow close into the body on the way back, but from there we're letting go of the right elbow by straightening the the right arm or the trail arm, and then rotate some more width, then we can get the club working more behind us and more around, okay? So if you've got any thoughts on that video, comment below and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you.